think I'm I think I'm live. I'm just gonna double check. I couldn't figure out the commercial things, you guys. Okay, it works. Okay, hi everyone, even though there's no one here yet. So I will just wait and sit for a few minutes for anyone to hop on. I hope everyone's having a good day today. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera. Um, it's Wednesday. Middle of the week live, I think it'll be fun. Um, I did a mixed media vintage card. I think it turned out so pretty and it was a lot of fun to make, so I can't wait to make this with you guys. And if you're watching this on replay, definitely comment below, say hey. Uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate all of you guys watching. Thank you so much. And we're just going to wait for anybody to pop on. Uh, the weather, I'm going to talk about the weather while we're waiting for anyone to, for you guys to hop on. Uh, it's been kind of rainy here, which is weird for January. Normally it's snowy, but it's been a little bit rainy and cloudy and which was kind of a bummer because I wanted to go see my granddaughter today and we live higher up in the same state as my son but we live higher up on the mountain and so we worry about black ice and stuff like that so I did not go and do that so maybe I can do that hopefully I can see her on Saturday still gonna wait a few more minutes and then we will create this card. Uh, when you hop on or or wherever you're from, let me know how your weather is. If you have snow, we did have snow, but it's kind of all mostly melted because of the rain. And yeah. Let's see what we've got here right now. Looks like maybe we have one viewer. Hello, thank you for stopping by and watching. I appreciate it. I think I'll show the card that we're gonna make. Even though I'm still gonna wait a few more minutes. But here's this card that we are gonna make. My hand is crooked. We did some stamping. We did some texture paste. Uh, we did some paint. So it'll be a fun, fun, card to create and it turned out much more prettier I don't think that's a word much more pretty than I thought that was not a correct sentence <laughs> I'm gonna wait about three more minutes and then we will get going on the card thank you again for watching I appreciate it so much um, I'm just trying to think of what else to chat about Have you ever, do you guys make, I guess I can ask a question, and you guys can answer even, even on the replay. Do you or have you ever made mixed media cards? And if so, do you like it a lot? I tend to be intimidated by it, but then, so I don't do it all the time, but then when I do it, I really like it. It always seems to turn out pretty nice, but I don't know why I'm just so intimidated by it but because I've seen some people's and they're just absolutely stunning and so I don't know I think I don't know how to get to that but then I realize you just have to do one step at a time and then it turns out good usually I mean I have had some that I didn't love but I think usually it turns out pretty okay I'm gonna wait one more minute and then we will go this was kind of a last minute Live, even though my last live I said I would do it, try to do it every two weeks or so. And so today it worked out, and I'm glad that it did. 
We've got two watching. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. We're almost ready to start. So, we're like I said, we've we've got stamping, inking. Um, I'm actually using Cloud Whip, which is like a stencil paste, but it's called a mixed media modeling paste. This thing, this jar is ginormous. This is from scrapbook.com. And yeah, so we're gonna use some of that and we are going to custom color it. We're gonna make it the color that we wanna make it. I'm gonna be using this um, acrylic paint, Sparks acrylic paint. This is Mermaid Sparkle and it's so, so pretty. So we're gonna use that too. Okay, I think we will probably wait one more minute and then we will get started. So thanks for just waiting with me. I appreciate it. And then we will get going on this card. I don't normally make samples ahead of time when I'm doing cards, but I did it last live in this live. It It's a, a smoother process for me when I'm on the live that I can actually put it together without it me forgetting 27 million things. So it's super, super helpful. Okay, I am going to flip the camera around and then we are gonna get started. So, okie dokie make sure my work surface is straight here okay so here's the card that we are gonna make we are gonna st I'm starting with a white this is Nina classic crest solar white cardstock I this is a two size we will trim it down a little bit smaller but we're gonna start with this and I thought it would be fun to use this mini brayer from brayer from Tim Holtz. I have stuff on it because I don't clean my stuff very good. But we're going to use this. I also have a big one. The reason why I chose to use a, the small one is because I want it, I don't want it to cover the whole paper. I want it to have some lines. So if you can see here on this card, like right here is darker. Here is a little bit darker. Then you have some lighter areas. I feel like I could achieve that better with this smaller one. So that's why I'm using it. So we're gonna start off with this background. I'm using Simon Says Stamps Lemonade. They're positively saturated inks. And if you guys are just tuning in, thank you so much. I'd love to hear how your weather is or how your day's going. I do want this to be light. So at first I'm not gonna put a lot of pressure but I'm gonna kind of go off because I wanna, I'm gonna do this in kind of three sections and you'll see what I mean. So it has a line here. You can see it's heavier, lighter. That's what I want to do. So I'm gonna roll it on my ink pad again. I'm gonna go across. One more time, I'm gonna come down. I decided I'm, I'm going to kind of go across this way. And then let's go across that way. I'm gonna fill in a little bit. I don't want too much white. So I'm gonna kind of pick and choose where I want what. <sighs> Got a fuzzy on there. Okay. And I don't, there's not really a wrong or right to this at all, but I think we're gonna call that good. All right, let me clean up my spot here. I am using a, a new product, or a, a new product, a new stamp set from Paper Tray Ink. This is the, oh, what are you called? You Are Loved stamps there is coordinating dies i don't have the coordinating dies so we're really kind of just making a one layer card um, i see some more people are watching thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it so we're just going to layer the stamps on on top of each other and make this really pretty wreath 
So it's super simple, but it's, oh, it's gonna take a minute. So we're gonna be doing some stamping. So let's, I'm gonna pull my Misty in here. Water out of the way. How is everybody doing this evening? Hope you guys are doing well. Oh, thank you, Terry. Thank you so much for watching and I appreciate your comment. Okay, let's, okay, I'm gonna start with, let me scoot this over so I'm more in the center here. I'm gonna start with this, obviously the wreath first. Place it kind of here. Oh wait, you know what? I do want to. No, nope, I'll trim it down after. I am gonna trim this down, but I will trim it down when I'm done. I am using inks from Pink Fresh Studio, so I have their. I'm gonna use. I think I end up using almost all of these. No, that's a lie. I'm lying. I think I use two of these. <laughs> but I love this because especially when you're doing layering stamps, which these are, I love having like, especially mini ink cubes. And when you have these color families, it makes it super easy and kind of a no brainer. So I love it. Oh, hi, Sabine. I think that's how you pronounce it. Please tell me if I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, I apologize. Thank you so much. You're from Canada, British Columbia. Thank you. I appreciate that you're here. Okay, so let's get our wreath stamped. So I'm just going to ink this up. This is, sorry, I didn't tell you. This is uh, Sage Ink. We're going to get a nice, good stamp. It might look a little bit blotchy, but it will even out because it is a dye ink. It'll kind of soak into the paper and it'll be gorgeous. I'm going to put my other card in front of me for reference so I don't have to think about it. Let me wipe that off. You are correct. Okay, good. Thank you. I'm so glad that I got that right. How is everybody's weather? I was saying at the beginning of this that the weather here has been kind of rainy, which is weird because normally it's snowy. And it's not been snowy. <laughs> it's been a little bit on the warmer side. Okay, so we're gonna start with this flower here. So this is the layering flower. I'm starting with the solid one first. Also in the stamp set, you'll get where it kind of shows you each flower. This little card will show you uh, which pieces go with which, 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 which. <laughs> it makes it so much easier. Let me put that right there. Have all my references in front of me. Okay. I am going to start with Cherry Blossom from Pink Fresh. Now you could lay out all of your images and all the same color images. I'm not going to do that because I feel like I'm going to mess it up today. So. I'm kind of doing one at a time, but it'll go fairly quick. It's been warm here, rain instead of snow. I'm in Southern Idaho. Oh, Terry, you're not that. I'm in uh, Southern Utah, so we're actually not that far away from each other. Oh, hi, honey, from stormy UK. <laughs> it's warming up here now too. Yeah, I guess it must be a thing, right? It must be warming up everywhere. Okay. So now we did the solid of that one. I'm going to get the, this little piece is gonna add some more details. So I'm gonna line it up. Let's pop that in place here. Okay, I'm gonna make sure these are right because I didn't on my first card because I kind of didn't notice them. I'm gonna go one darker in this color family and this is um, Peony. Now I'm gonna ink that up. I'm gonna do it one more time. I love it. 
I love these. Do you guys like layering stamps? I mean, I love coloring images. I think that's fun, but I sometimes I think that this is just a fun because it's a no-brainer. Other than picking out your color, then it just has all the detail built in for you. <laughs> okay, there is that one. Let's go with, what's the next flower? The next flower is on here. So there's, okay, let's see. I've, I've never used a layering stamp. I'm very new to stamping. Oh, Terry, these are great. That's really awesome that you're new to stamping. That is really, really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna do this flower here, but we have to start with this base piece, which is actually part of the greenery, I guess. So I'm gonna line it up here off of this little, well, let me move this because I think I need it to be out of the way. I missed the beginning. What stamps, it? okay, honey, this is you are loved from Paper Tray Ink. All right, I'm gonna line this up right here. Make sure this doesn't move. First, let me get it where it needs to be. <laughs> Struggle bus here. Okay, here we go. Line this up one more time. So this is gonna be green. I'm gonna use that sage again, the same color. Oh, that is the wreath. Okay, let me see. Um, Sabine, love layering stamps. This will turn out really beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, they're so much, they're fun. I think they um, are a great, a great product to have in your stash for sure. I am going to go right here. We're gonna stamp another one right over here. Ink that up. Oh, hi, Gina. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in a darker green. This is eucalyptus, so this is one darker than, this, than the sage. And this is a, like a little detail stamp that goes over this. Sorry if my head's in the way, I gotta see. I think I'm pretty lined up. Let's stamp that. Awesome. I'm so glad that that stamped good. I didn't stamp that leaf very good, but that's okay. This is gonna look kind of vintagey anyway, so I'm not, I'm actually not overly concerned, oops, with perfect stamping images i'm glad i caught the live i'm so glad you did too gina i'm so glad okay now we have so that was kind of the base to the flower now we have the flower itself so i'm going to line this up okay what color did i use on this one i used begonia so I'm using all the pinks. This is Pink Fresh Studios little um, rose garden. And I do use all the pinks in this. And I think keeping your color scheme a little simple, I didn't have that lined up great, but not the end of the world. Uh, I think keeping your color scheme simple sometimes. So if you have multiples of pinks, it keeps it easy and at the same time you have a lot of color on the background okay let's do this other one i love it let's get the detail stamp for this we're going to line it up put that in place right here and then we are gonna use the darkest color, which is Mulberry Blush. Oh, that's lovely. Line this up again. These little pieces right here, 
that's kind of what I'm paying attention to where those line up. When I did my first card, I, I didn't even notice that those were on there. And then I stamped the first one and I'm like, oh, <laughs> kind of silly. Do that one more time. Okay, that's so pretty. So I'm just kind of building my wreath. You can kind of build it however you want. Making sure I don't miss any comments here. Okay, let's go to our next one, which I believe is oh, this one right here. <clears throat> this one also has the little base piece, like the little greenery piece at the base of the flower. So we're going to pop that into place here. And then we're going to use that sage again. I will bring in some other greens in just a little bit. But I'm trying to keep all this the same. I mean, I did bring in the darker green. Okay, then there's a little detail piece for this as well. This one was sticking to my fingers earlier and it's probably going to do the same thing again. Well, maybe not. Use the tweezers and slide it over. Okay. Hopefully, let's cross our fingers that that's in place. Pop that down. Yay. And that was with the eucalyptus. So I just went one darker in that color family. All right, let me add the flower. Do you guys just love my <laughs> baby shark band-aid? I was doing the dishes yesterday and stabbed my finger with a fork. I have never done that in my life. I don't know what my issue was, uh, but yeah, it hurt. <laughs> okay, I think this is this color and then we'll go this color. Yeah, it hurt, I, I felt I did not feel super intelligent at that moment. And the only band-aids we had were baby shark band-aids because my granddaughter likes to just wear, or she was going through a phase of loving to wear just band-aids everywhere. So I wanted to have some at the house for her. And yeah, so my son's like, it's just, it's a baby shark band-aid. <laughs> I'm like, well, whatever works, because it hurt. Okay, this is begonia. I'm going to go one darker. Maybe I need to use that as my excuse to never have to do dishes again. I don't know. It's dangerous. Okay. So now we have like our big flowers. I'm actually going to move this back down here because I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up and then that'll probably make me cry. <laughs> So we're gonna add some more flowers. We have some other little pieces here. We've got these, these little, we're gonna go, they're little, just regular flowers that don't require any layering. We're gonna add these in. And we're gonna go begonia here. Make that up. Let's add another one down here and I am wiping it off probably not perfectly but I am wiping the stamps off in between but let's see I still have a little bit of something there and you can see that some of these things are overlapping I think it's fine I think it looks really really good okay let's see what I'm missing here um, yeah it hurt thank you <laughs> I feel like I need a little sympathy. It hurts so bad. I'm like, are you kidding me right now? Okay, where does this guy go? Oh, we have a little one right here. I am going to use um, Penny ink. Let's stamp that. 
I'll do it one more time. And then let's do another one right here. There is a coordinating die to this. I think I said that at the beginning. I don't have it, but and I love coordinating dies, but I actually am loving the way that this looks without the die. Okay, let's let's add. We're gonna do finish up the flowers. We've got one more little set of flowers, and then we've got some more greenery that we're gonna add. But this one we're gonna put here. I'm gonna start here with this. So this is the greenery I'm gonna do in sage one more time. Do you guys have any plans for this weekend? Anything fun going on? I'll line this up down here. I will be seeing one of my childhood friends. We're gonna go have lunch. She lives in Vegas. Like I said, I live in Southern Utah. I'm gonna put another one right here. And so we're gonna meet halfway and have some lunch. So I'm thankful that the weather is gonna be nice on Saturday. Cause I haven't seen her in a long, long time. Okay, so then we have these little flowers that are going to go on. And then hopefully I'll be able to see my granddaughter too. And my son, but I think my son will be playing golf. Okay, I'm going to pop that in place. This one I'm going to use the lightest pink, which is the cherry blossom. Was this in the last release, Sabine? I think it was. Don't hold me to it, but I'm, but I'm pretty sure that it was. Look how cute those little guys are. I love them. Oh, I think I forgot to add yeah, my other card. I forgot to add the second piece to this, but I'm going to leave it because I actually like how it looks. There is a little detail piece. It's like a bunch of dots. I'm going to opt out of putting that on there because I forgot to on my sample card and I like how it looks. So I'm going to leave it. Yeah, it'll be way fun. We're going to go eat at um, a place called Aubergine Kitchen. I don't know if anyone has that where they live. Um, it's Mediterranean, and I tend to lean towards the Mediterranean diet when I'm eating like I should be eating. And it's so delicious. Like, their salads is not just a bunch of lettuce. Like, it has, like, the yummiest, yummiest stuff inside. It makes me very, very happy. Okay, so we've got all those flowers. I'm gonna do some greenery and then we'll come back to adding the berries and then we can do finish up doing some of that mixed media stuff because right now we're just trying to get all this stuff on here. So there's some other leaves. I'm gonna use this leaf, this has three. And I'm gonna use it with a darker ink. I'm gonna use the eucalyptus ink for this one. I'm gonna place that there. Again, I don't mind that it's gonna overlap some of the other images. I think that's kind of part of the charm. That will soak in. It's not quite that dark. Okay, let's put this one right here. I'll pop that in place. And then one more over here. I'm going to scoot this up. These nails get in the way. Seriously. Thank you, Gina. Okay, let's pop that there. Now this can hang off because that's where I kind of need it to do. And I want to. And I'm making sure that like the, the bottom part of the leaf is sitting on top of the other greenery. Watch, I'm gonna say that and then this time I won't do it. 
you're getting hungry now I know I'm it's so good and I have to eat gluten-free because I get AFib it's just so silly but they have the most delicious gluten-free these little cheesy rolls my youngest son can't stand anything gluten-free oh stop that um and he loves them he's like they're so delicious okay I'm gonna add this little leaf too you know there was a detailed piece for this and I'm looking at it right now and I didn't add it and I'm not gonna add it because I actually like it so I'm gonna place that right there we're gonna use that same eucalyptus ink because it's a tad bit darker so I get this salad from there I'm gonna talk about food because I'm hungry I haven't had dinner yet and it's really delicious you guys <laughs> uh, it it has romaine and spinach and then it has green apple walnuts red onion um, red bell peppers chicken it has a jalapeno cilantro dressing and then it has the big long pieces of like shaved parmesan oh my gosh you guys it's so delicious i could just eat that every day for every meal for the rest of my life okay i'm gonna place this one here this is our last leaf one two three one two three yeah And then I get a ridiculous amount of those cheesy little gluten-free rolls and barely share them with everybody else. <laughs> okay, so now we need to add just some little berries and then we can move on to the next steps here. I think that's right, I think I've added everything. Okay, so I'm gonna add, I'm gonna go with the darkest color because I like having all these different pinks. So I'm gonna ink that up and put that right there. Let's put it over here. Is there any shows that you guys have been uh, binge watching or watching that are interesting? You guys are probably gonna laugh when I tell you what I've been watching. My husband's like, why do you like that show? But, okay, I'm gonna add one more over here. I have been watching Homestead Rescue. <laughs> it's this family, if you've never heard of it, it's this dad, older guy, and two of his grown kids that go and help people who homestead. Um, <laughs> and they do a really good job. These people are really smart because they have a homestead and all this thing, but it's wild and I don't know why I'm just so into it, but I am. Okay, let me just make sure I have everything from my sample card on here. I think I do. That looks so pretty. I love it. Okay, so I am going to Death and Other Details on Hulu. It's good. Really? Death and Other... Okay, can you give me a quick, like, what it's about, Terry? I'm kind of curious. Oh, all my magnets are doing bad things. Okay. I'm gonna go on to our next step. I'm gonna take out my foam piece out of my Misty. I have some sticky tack. I have some tape from earlier that I put in there. I'm gonna trim this down in a minute. Okay. This is the bold prints from Hero Arts. Uh, this is the Love is Love bold prints. Um, actually, I do want to say I was on Honey or Honeybee. No, Hero Arts blog today using this uh, it's their community uh, once a month they have a community blog post and they asked me to be a part of that so if you um, follow hero arts or anything you guys should go check it out I made a couple cards and they're pretty cute okay so I have that down so I want this it just says love is love is love it just kind of says that and some of the loves are bigger than other ones and I want to have a little bit of text on the background, but I don't want it to be like in your face. So I'm going to take the same yellow that we used the brayer with for this background. And I'm going to ink this up. 
and I'm not worried if I get a perfect. I probably will stamp it twice, we'll see, because some areas I do want it to be a little bit darker than others. I'm gonna press that down so we can kind of see it. I'm gonna go one more. I'm not gonna be real careful with where I'm putting the ink. But I kind of want to see it. Oh, there we go. I don't know if you guys, I don't want it to be blurry, but you guys can probably see right here's some text. Where the lighter yellow is, you can see it. All right, then I'm gonna stamp the sentiment before we go on to the next step. So I am gonna add my foam back in here. because this is just a clear, let me get my inks out of the way really quick. Oh, I forgot to put, hold on you guys, I totally forgot to put the centers in this flower right here. Let me grab that really quick and we're gonna do that in yellow. So sorry. It's a whodunit murder mystery with a renowned detective on a billionaire cruise ship. Oh. That sounds kind of interesting. I'll have to check that out. Thank you for sharing that with me. I'm going to go with, I think I went with sweet mustard in this yellow pack from Pink Fresh. Rise and Shine is the whole little pack. Let me get these in here. That was kind of special. Let me do this one here. And then we can stamp the sentiment and move forward. I think I'm doing pretty good on time. Usually I like these to, usually I, these are around an hour. I like to keep it that way because you guys are busy and I appreciate you watching. Oh. Okay, so I am using the sentiment that says, well, there's three sentiments. There's you are loved, I will love you today, tomorrow, and always, and to the beautiful couple. So that's kind of fun. I don't know, maybe I should do, no, I'm going to do this one. No, I'm deciding. Should I do, I should do a different sentiment just because the other one. Um, I'm going to go with it. So the sample one that I made has this bigger sentiment in it. But I think this one, that way I can get two cards out of, I'm going to do a different sentiment since we're making a whole other card. So this one says, you are loved. I'm just gonna eyeball it. And then check it with my Misty. Sometimes it's hard when it's, I think we're good. Okay, let's use some black ink. Watching Shetland, a Scottish crime series on BritBox. It's so good. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I do like um, crime movies. A lot of times when I'm watching cards, I'm watching murder shows. Okay, let me do that one more time. Ooh, that looks pretty. I like it. Okay, let me get this out of the way. So now we have everything that we were going to stamp we have all the stamping done so i'm going to take this out of my misty and move this aside okay let me trim this down though because i want to do that before i do anything else i don't remember if i you know what let me measure my other one because i don't remember thank you I love it too. I loved how it turned out. So we did three and three quarters. Okay. So I'm gonna cut off a quarter inch off each like side, top, and bottom. And on this paper trimmer from Tim Holtz, each little square thing is a quarter of an inch. So it makes life really good, easy. Okay, a couple more. 
All right. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's get into the stencil. This stencil is from scrapbook.com. It's the vintage floral stencil. Oh, hi, Liz. I am so glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by and watching. I'm gonna add some tape behind my card here. Let's pop this in place. I want. Okay. So I'm using Cloud Whip. And where's my. There we go. My little palette knife. Let me get a couple paper towels up here. get that wet a little bit so I have something to wipe off okay so we're gonna create our own custom color with the cloud wit and this acrylic paint the sparks mermaid sparkle it's so pretty I love 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 it we don't need a lot because I'm not gonna stencil obviously the whole background I just want to get some areas where We've got some stenciling. This is again, this is a mixed media card, so we want to do a tad bit more just to make sure. I'd rather have enough than not too much, or than not enough. Okay, let me wipe this off really quick. Then we have this sparkle paint. Thank you, Sabine. I'm gonna add a little bit of this because we're gonna make a custom color of this. A bit more. When I was picking my colors, I mean, I love a aquamarine or a light teal, anything. I think it's so pretty. And I, I love yellows and pinks together pinks and turquoise, yellow and turquoise, yellow and aquamarine, all of those colors go so nicely together. So I just thought I have to bring in a little bit of this. So we're just gonna mix this and it does get obviously a little bit thinner, but it does dry pretty darn quick. I just don't want any white on it or in it I mean. Okay, I think we're good. So I'm gonna just kind of concentrate around the edges. I'm not gonna do all the edges I want, and I, I will come in a little bit. And I do like that it covers up some of the flowers, but I'm also gonna be careful to not cover up all of the flowers. It basically is gonna fill in some of these open areas here. That was kind of my thought process. So I will just come in and I'm gonna spread it thin. I'm not worried if it um, gets, like this one, part of it's not. I think that's kind of part of the charm when you're doing mixed media, you know, to some degree. So I'm not worried about that at all. If I don't get a, a full stencil in one of the leaves here, like no big deal to me. I'm gonna come in here, a little bit there, a little bit there. I definitely want to, I'm going to go a little bit heavier here at the bottom. Do you guys like using texture paste at all? I love it. I think it's so, so pretty. Okay, and then I want to put a little bit in here. Okie dokie. Let's, it's reveal time. Let's see. I do, but it dries so fast. It dries so fast in Colorado. Oh, I bet it does in Colorado. My goodness. Ooh, yes. 
Oh, sorry, that's blurry. Oh, that's so pretty. I have my camera on um, manual focus because if it's not, it'll you guys will just hear it click the whole time and that'll be obnoxious every time it's trying to focus. Okay, let me get this, whoa, get this cleaned up really quick and then we can do some other components to this. We're almost done, you guys. Thanks for hanging in there. Let me spray. Let me move my card first because that would be bad. I'm just gonna hose it down. <laughs> I have I could just go do it in the sink, but because I have this stupid band-aid on, I don't feel like having my band-aid get wet right now. <laughs> okay. Almost there, guys. All right. This one off. Okay. All right. I think we're good. Let me get this cleaned a little bit more. Alrighty. Now I'm gonna do also do some splatter with some white acrylic paint. I'll definitely rewatch. Awesome, Liz. Thank you. Let's do a little bit of this. So a little bit of white acrylic paint and some water. more water. I realize my chair is so super squeaky. Now normally when I splatter I like to just kind of splatter everywhere but this card I didn't want to do that. I I didn't want a ton of splatter in the center here so I'm gonna try to just directionally you know kind of keep it in just some areas. And it really worked out nicely. I don't want a lot of it over that sentiment at all. And then some areas I'll just go on the heavier side. And then some areas will go pretty light. I'll go pretty heavy over here. When I got this stamp set, I've had it for a little bit. I just haven't been able to use it yet. But when I got it, I just knew I wanted something just different than what I normally do. And because again, I don't normally do mixed media because it intimidates me so much, but. Okay, I think we're good. All right. Love texture anything. Oh, me too, Sabine. I love it. I love dimension. I love texture. I think that's what makes the cards come alive. But what I'm really liking about this card is essentially a one layer card. I mean, I'm going to add another die cut behind it, but it's kind of a one layer card. And I just think that's really, really awesome. Okay, that background is done. I'm going to put that aside. Let's Oh, geez. Hold on. Bad things are happening. Let me put that out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to use this. Are you working on any new designs, Joy? Uh, for me personally, for stamps personally, is that what you mean, Liz? Like my own stamp sets? I'm going to use the largest of Honeybee Stamps scalloped A2 card frames. I thought this needs to have something really pretty. You know, I'm not right now. Uh, I, there's part of me that wants to, and then the other part of me that knows how much work is involved and just the stuff with my, you know, my daughter passing, uh, I feel like it feels like a lot, but I haven't decided no yet. 
I haven't decided yes yet either. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure I don't overwhelm myself. Okay, I'll run this through my die cut machine. I'm cutting it just from, oh, sorry, that was loud, white cardstock. Thank you, Liz. But I, I do want to, I just have to decide if I, yeah, if I can handle doing it, if I can commit to that, if that makes sense. Okay, so here we have our beautiful scallop frame. And so when I was making this card earlier, I realized that on the card base, you have your white. This is slightly smaller than an A2 size. So around the scallop, you're gonna see your card. And because I do white card bases, you can't see the scallop. So we are gonna just do a quick ink blending with an A2 size card panel and the lightest pink, which is the cherry blossom, just around the edges. That way the white frame will pop off the background. And you could do this on the card base if you wanted to. I'm just doing it on an 80 pound card stock. And yeah, so it won't be super uh, bulky or heavy. So like I said, I'm just gonna go around the edges. You are not gonna see the inside, so there is no point in blending the inside. I don't know if you guys can hear my dog. He is, I have a French bulldog, a little Frenchie, and they snort like pigs. And he snorts like a pig <laughs> when he wants something and he wants to come in here. But he's not allowed because he's really loud. Okay, so that's our pink background. And now we can see that die cut, which I think is great. Uh, let's see, we can, I'm gonna adhere this first and then we can get everything else adhered. Let's pop this in place. I was doing some clicker training with him when he was a puppy, he loved to ride on a skateboard and I have like a little bell, like the bells that you would ring at a counter or something for somebody and he loves to <laughs> ding the bell with his foot and he gets clicked and then he gets a treat. And he has a sweater that he loves to wear. Your chihuahua snorts too, Gina. That is hilarious. I didn't know chihuahuas did that. He has a Christmas sweater. <clears throat> And he will snort at me because he wants it on. So I was trying to teach him like, you know, like go get your sweater. So I'm trying to get him to touch the sweater. And he learned it super quick, but I also had the bell out and all he wanted to do was ring the bell. And every time I would tell him to go touch the sweater, he'd whine at me because I wasn't letting him ring the bell. It was the funniest thing this morning. He was cracking me up. Okay. I'm gonna be careful because this is not dry yet, but it does dry really fast. Normally, I would pop things up, but I really liked it right against the um, scalloped part of the card. Yeah, he is something else. He's, he's quite a character, this dog. He likes to people watch out the front window in his Christmas sweater. <laughs> he lays on the edge of the couch and he'll use the side table as a headrest when he's sleeping. I mean, he's just the funniest thing. Okay, and I like that this has stitching too and we'll be able to see a little bit of the stitching if I can actually line it up properly. I'm trying not to stick my fingers in the paste. Oh, I think we're good. Get this put down here. I'll push it down more once everything's dry. And I put it on a top fold card base. If 
fur babies are the best. They are super fun. Okay, so here's the one I made earlier. Here's the one that I made uh, tonight. And yeah, let's take a look at that. I love how this turned out. I love that little bit of mermaid teal color against the pinks and the yellow. I think it turned out really super pretty. And then here's the one that I made earlier as a sample. Again, this one had the different sentiment. But I think this is a pretty stamp. What do you guys think? I, I think Paper Tray Ink has some pretty stamps. I know a lot of their stuff is these layering stamps, which is a lot of fun, but I think that turned out good. The stenciling is fun, just the splatter, the inking, the brayer on the back, you know, so it's not like the solid color of yellow. It's got a little something different going on, and then it's so pretty with that scallop, and then you can see it because you have that pink background. Okay, I'm gonna turn us around really quick. I can't believe it's already been like 50 minutes. <laughs> Okay, we're done. Thank you guys so much. Uh, like I said last time I did a live, I'm going to try to do it every two weeks. Uh, as long as, you know, I'm functioning that day again. You know, my daughter passed in September and so some days are just, well, every day is hard, but some days are harder. So I will try to do this every two weeks on a Wednesday at five o'clock. My time's like four o'clock Pacific time. And I appreciate you guys so very much for hanging out with me and uh, chatting with me. I love it. It makes me happy and I'm glad to be doing this with you guys. So I don't know if you have any other questions or anything else. I will wait a minute to see if you guys do. And then if not, well, I'll let you go. That way you can uh, do what you need to do. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, Gina. Thank you, Sabine. I'll give it just another second and then we'll, I appreciate you, Gina. Okay, I'm gonna show the cards one more time and then we'll call it good. This is the one I made earlier and this is the one we made tonight. I love it, I think it turned out so, no, I'll get it closer, there we go. Look how pretty that is. I love it. Okay, guys, you have a wonderful, wonderful night, and I will see you in a couple weeks. And have safe, have fun, and or be safe and have fun, and I will see you guys later. Bye.